Ever since I was a kid, I was fascinated with armor. You know, I love the history of body armor. And we have come a long ways with the development, you know, when we introduced firearms. Now, the kinetic energy of a bullet poses a real challenge for armor that has never been encountered in history. Now, in the beginning, armor that could protect from the energy of a bullet was just simply not feasible due to the weight. Now, with modern technology, that issue has been solved. Now the goal is to come up with the lightest possible armor and increase protection to things like armor piercing round and you know tungsten steel cores. Let's take a look at the highest current level of body armor you know that we can reasonably wear. That's level four. Now this one is from RTS. Check it out. I'm Drew Case, welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. Now real quick, let's take a look at the specs and tech of the RTS Level 4 ceramic plate. Okay, it's time to put the plate to the test. Now if you're not familiar with body armor, it's really quite simple. Speed is king. Now armor piercing adds to this, you know, with adding steel in the core, but speed is still king. Now with that said, let's just hit it with the fastest bullet that I can get my hands on. And I don't have 30-06 armor piercing, um, but I did get a hold of a 22 250 and that is flying. After that, I'm gonna hit it with my 243, a 90 grain, got a little more mass, not quite the speed, but it's still flying. And then I've got my M1 Grand with some, some really old full metal jacket, military surplus. I don't think it's armor piercing, but we're just gonna blaze away on that. And I'm gonna kind of alternate between some level three plus plates that I tested before, just to show you um, kind of the difference between level three plus and level four and steel versus ceramic. Okay, so what I have here is my dummy that I use for testing armor. We've got the vest on there. That's got the level four. What I want to do real quick here is this is some level three plus from RTS that I tested before. Now, if you're seeing that, that is actually some really high speed uh, 223, and I also hit this with my 243, which technically should have defeated it, but it didn't. I did have one where I hit it twice in the same spot with some 223 that was moving about 34, 3500 feet a second, which should, should penetrate. And you can see the other holes or divots, and it didn't. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this, and I, I even hit this with my 30 odd six, and it it stopped it, but I've got a 22250 that's going to really be moving. I, I'll be shocked. I know it's going to penetrate this, and that's the level three plus. Then we're going to come up here and we're going to move to our level four, and I'm going to hit it with that. All right, guys. Sorry about the wind. I've got my 22250. This thing is moving. Let's just see how the level three plus holds up to that. Go check it out. Okay, so after hitting it with a 22-250, yeah, punched a hole clean through it. It did stop here on the second one. Now we're just gonna get right to it. I'm gonna hit the level four. This is not the vest that it comes with. This is just an old vest that I had laying around that had already been shot. In another test, uh, no need to waste a whole new vest. So let's hit this with the 22250 and go from there. Yeah. Sorry about the wind. We've got like hurricane force winds here, but it's been this way all week and it's going to keep being this way. So 
We're just going to have to improvise, adapt, and overcome. Now I'm going to hit the plate with a 22-250 and see how that does. I hope it didn't penetrate. So we can we can clearly see oh yeah i mean it it went in it went in quite a bit i don't think it went through let's just pull it out here and find out okay just gonna pull this out <laughs> okay that says it all right there guys Speed is king, and a 22-250 did not go through this. It made a serious hole in it. Okay. okay, I've got my 243 here. I've got some 90 grain hollow point. I'm going to shoot the level 3 plus first, see if it penetrates. Don't think it penetrated, but I think it made a big dent. Okay, oh yeah, yeah. That penetrated. Okay. Let's give the ceramic a test. Okay, it did penetrate. Now I'm gonna hit the ceramic and see how that does. Let's go take a look. Folks, if you're enjoying this review, do you follow my channel? Would you be willing to help support the channel if it costs you nothing, not a zip, zero? Hit that subscribe button. That does as much as anything, so hit that button. I just got a new webpage, Home of the Crazy Stupid Deals. You have to check it out. You will be shocked to see some of the deals that I find. You can now subscribe to be notified immediately when I find them. Cost you nothing. I did this for those of you that don't like Facebook. If you do follow Facebook, come check me out and follow me there too. If you ever shop on Amazon, simply go in through my links below in the description. Anything and everything you purchase helps support the channel. Going through my links and it costs you nothing. You can literally buy toilet paper and this helps support the channel. Check out my company picks, the companies I purchase most often from and find most of my crazy stupid deals on. Using these links supports the channel and keeps the reviews coming. While you're there, check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself what folks are saying about them. Bottom line, check out my webpage. Lots of good stuff there, and doing so helps support the channel. Thanks for your support. I couldn't do this without you. Okay, I didn't make quite as big a hole as the 22-250. Let's just see if that penetrated. Okay, made a great big welt here. Just a little bit on the back. Stuff's falling out. So we defeated at really close range a 22250 and a 243. We're talking some serious velocity here. Now I've got some 30 odd six with an M1 Grand with some old military full metal jacket surplus. I don't think it's armor piercing, and we're just gonna hammer away, you know, an eight round clip. And yes, it's a clip with an M1 Grand and see how it does. If we hit one of these holes, I guarantee you, it's probably gonna punch through. But hey, let's find out. Okay, real quick here. I've got my M1 Grand with some old military surplus. Okay, I don't think it's armor piercing. I wanna fire one round on the level three plus steel and then I'm gonna dump the rest onto the porcelain. Take a quick look here. Okay. And I already knew that this level three plus from RTS was going to defeat it. Okay. It just doesn't have the speed. You know, I, I, I'm going to harp on that. Speed is king. But just because, you know, we've got the vest here and it's rated for 30 odd six, although armor piercing. Let's just, uh, let's see how much this jacket can take. So the 30 odd six did not penetrate the steel. I've got seven more rounds. We're gonna put those on the ceramic. Uh, you know, if we get bullet on bullet, 
is probably going to penetrate. But hey, you know, let's find out. We hit it. We hit it a bunch of times. Let's just see. It looks like maybe I hit it low on a couple. Huh. We didn't have any penetration. I shot a couple low and they ricocheted. Okay. And they did come through. Well, maybe not. Yeah, I think they're all in there. You know, you check this out here. That is, that is impressive. Impressive. Multiple hits. Just real quick here, I wanted to show you somewhat out of the wind. So we had our initial 22-250, and then I think the 243 was over here. But, you know, when we're looking at the slow motion, it's hard to tell, but it looked like a couple of those spots had got hit maybe twice. And then we've got several shots down here. Okay, and then we flip it over. And I didn't uh, I didn't see any penetration, but it looks like one came through right there. And that would have been one of those that doubled up. And I think it just came through somewhat intact. But other than that one, we have no penetration and you know the deformity is not that bad you know, when i did the polyethylene it, it really bubbled and you get blunt force trauma and you would actually have very negligible blunt force trauma with the way this one has reacted to getting hit there you go it is what it is you decide what you think hopefully you found this helpful be sure to like, comment, and sub, sub. Subbing helps more than about anything else. Until, ne Until next time, remember to educate our kids to guns and gun safety. And remember, you're an ambassador for the Second Amendment. And be a safe and responsible gun owner.